Hello and welcome to the People's Third Simmons Check and Simmons Package Update as of February 5th, 2021. Well, the Senate passed the budget resolution early this morning, around about 5.30 a.m. this morning, with a 50-50 vote on party lines, along party lines, basically. With Camilla Harris breaking, being the um, tiebreaker for this resolution. Um, but it basically was passed at the end of the Voterama, where all the senders were able to vote on amendments. Senator John Manchin, Joe Manchin, sorry, proposed um, conforming the up, upper income taxpayers wouldn't be eligible to receive a stimulus check. This passed 99 to 1. The Republican Senator Rand Paul was the one out of the, the whole people that basically voted against this amendment to pass. Uh, let's see here. One of the Republican strategies was to force voters vote. Sorry, to they were trying to force votes on the um, conservative issues, such as keeping the embassy the U.S. Embassy in Jerusalem, which actually passed 97 to 3. So basically they was hoping that the Democrats would vote against that, and apparently they weren't counting on the Democrats to be voting for it. Republican Senator Joni Ernst called her uh, a prohibit, basically said that she did not want to um, have a $15 hour minimum wage increase until this pandemic is over. This actually passed. It sort of sucks, but it sort of passed. And today, the House of Representatives passed the same budget resolution that was passed earlier today in the Senate. For the next two weeks, there will be no voting in the House along in, in their various committees. Well, they'll work on the reconciliation package for the COVID relief. So they basically won't be voting on anything as far as any amendments or anything like that, as far as this uh, reconciliation act goes. Those committees will then send their work to the budget com committee where they will put it together in one bill before they send it to the rules committee. There's a ass lot of committees, isn't there? You have a budget committee, a rules committee, what else is there? I mean, how many other committees is there? You know what I mean? And they sent to the Rules Committee and finally put it to a vote on the floor maybe sometime around the end of the month. That's right. Sometime around the end of the month, they will put this to a vote on the floor of the Senate. So let's see what happens when that happens. What happens you know what I mean? And then we'll have to go back to the Senate. Oh, well, I guess it'll be at the floor of the House. Then we'll have to go back to the Senate to get voted on. They are still a long way before um, the bill will make it to the president desk, president's desk. They're suspecting that even with the, um, the impeachment trials of Donald Trump and with the whole next two weeks being locked up as far as uh, the, all the stuff going to the um, committees to get put together in a package and make sure everything is legit, you know, that gives enough time to impeach it. Donald Trump. Let's find out if they do, because I'd actually like to laugh at him if he gets impeached, because he deserves no less and he deserves no more. But that's besides the point. President Biden also met the um, Democratic chair of the congressional committees in the House of Representatives to put more momentum behind his stimulus agenda. He wants to try to get this one point nine trillion dollar stimulus package passed as fast as possible. Trump's impeachment trial begins next week, and the House wants Trump to basically testify on his behalf to see if he'll actually commit perjury. Well, that's what they, well, that's what I'm sure everyone would like to see him commit perjury. But unfortunately, his attorney's saying that he will not be testifying because it is a trap set up by the House representatives. 
the Senate agreed to the, the Young Cotton Amendment, which bans illegal immigrants from receiving a stimulus check. This passed 58 to 42. So for all the illegal immigrants in the United States, you will not be receiving a stimulus check at all. There was an amendment to support the border wall. That's right, the border wall. And it failed miserably. There was an amendment to defund the police, which also failed very miserably. If on a vote to, of 100 to 0, so basically the whole, all the Senate voted to not defund the police. Now, uh, let's see here. There was an amendment to. Stop soon checks going to prisoners. That failed. So the prisoners in the prisons, and I guess the prisoners in the jails, I'm not sure how that works. And when they when the stimulus checks go out, they'll be getting them as well. Now I don't know how that's really gonna work because basically they're in jail and okay, I've been to jail. This is a little backstory. I mean I have I have been to jail once and there is no account number when you people put money on your books. They put it in your name on the books for you to spend. So how would a stimulus check be able to be sent to the prisons to get to the prisoners for them to use? That's the question. But I'm sure we'll find out. Then after the voting was done, Chuck Schumer filed for a substitute amendment that places all the amendments that means the um all the amendments that they voted on um basically made it so they don't they basically don't really hold any water because their votes are non binding. So basically all the votes they did on the Votorama last night into this morning, all their votes have no substance to them. So I get I don't so I don't quite understand the full substitution amendment. I'll actually look this information up and I will relate it to you within the next one of my two videos. So to keep you guys informed as well as if you need me to look up anything as far as this is going, let me know and I will I will do the the work for you and I will relay my information to you guys as well. So if you need to know about the filibuster, the um, reconciliation act and or anything like this as far as this is going, just let me know and I will I'll look it up. I'll either tell you the information or I will post a um a little cut scene where I can actually just put the what the what it actually is inside my video so you guys can read it for yourselves in case that'll help out. But until next time you guys have a wonderful weekend since it is Friday. Please stay safe out there, and remember to always wear a mask, not just for your protection, but for those around you. Till then, you have a wonderful night. Bye.